elected as your president and vice president of SPSU. Um, I think we uh, we mentioned earlier that we're going to work on funding and making it easier for students, and it's all related. If you make funding easier for students, uh, there's going to be a lot of events on campus, and we're going to encourage students to work collaboration with all the other clubs so that there's going to be unity among students, you know, like international students, domestic students, and multicultural students. Um, <clears throat> Um, going back to the topic, um, we will focus on equity, uh, equity, not equality, um, and transparent um, in ASPSU, letting students know what ASPSU does. My goals for Student Assembly for the coming years, um, I really just want to build on what we've been doing. Uh, from what I've heard, the amount of things that have been passed, the amount of legislation that's come through Student Assembly has been astronomically better than the years before because it is a newer entity on campus and therefore we are just building and the more bills and resolutions that come through Student Assembly, the better we can make campus. So on that note, that's all I want to do is continue building and I want more bills and more resolutions and more issues coming because now that we're larger and we have more student voices, we'll be able to combat so much more across this campus, and I would really like to see that. So, um, Tashi and I, uh, we've talked about this. Um, so we think the hardest part is building those bridges between different organizations, but sometimes I think we get stuck on thinking about organizations. Not all students are part of organizations, and so, so that's why like, reaching out to just students and in general, um, building those bridges by communicating, making sure that ASBCU and students, is there's a transparency between that. Um, um, we also think that uh, making all those connections will be very important. So I think whatever Bates needs to talk about is reaching out to students, doing different things like um, either sending out, um, like talking to, making meetings with different organizations, talking to students uh, out on the quad, just getting their perspective. Because at the end of the day, it's about students. Um, and I think the increasingly difficult task is really involving students um, because of our main focus of involvement and in inclusiveness. It is difficult to get students excited about joining these clubs and organizations, but we are going to make that easier by making them aware of every club and organization on this campus. We're going to have contacts to each, which we've already started developing through these several meetings with clubs. We have a real interest in helping students find the clubs and organizations that are really geared towards their interests, and so we're going to combat that by simply creating connections all across campus and inviting more students into those. We had a head start. Uh, we shared uh, we shared each other's class schedule, so all the free times we get together and kind of plan about you know, our campaigning program. So um, uh, Stephanie is really good in texting, texting back, and um, see coming back from multicultural um, background and being international background, um, we we have a lot of common uh, interests, um, and <clears throat> and for communication, especially, um, yeah, we we just meet at our specific time when we are both available. Well, with communications. Um, we both are really good at talking, so if there's ever like opposing views in anything, Tashi and I are really good at communicating and getting the pros and cons. Um, so definitely there is like problem solving and we are really good at doing that, so. Great, thank you. All right, so this next question is for um, the President. As she said, we do differ on opinions sometimes. However, having those differing opinions really allows us to combat different issues. So if she's coming at it from one perspective, I have another. She balances me out when I have, you know, an idea and she has the plan. So we're very, um, we like to confront issues. Uh, transparency between us is really going to set the tone for transparency among all of ASBSU and students. If there's ever an issue that's come up, Rebecca and I have always discussed it. It's never been tabled by any means. So I think just open communication always is really going to set the tone for the rest of our our members. As Stephanie and me, thank you for the question. Um, as Stephanie and me, we have um, sort of Boise State for the past years. Um, we have been involved in different leadership positions in um, campus. For example, resident assistant. She has been the program assistant throughout the whole Boise State. Um, international student orientation leader. All of this. Um, 
all of this our job or the main goal was students you know um, serving them how to welcome them how to make them feel comfortable so for us it's our main um, common goal to serve the student of Boise State and um, I think of this platform as putting it on our resume and um, one of the things that I would like to say is that uh, so this is my fourth year here at Boise State University and I've served students all my leadership positions have been serving students and I'm very passionate about it. I always like to hear what their concerns are. Um, so definitely this was not a resume uh, builder uh, for me just because I've always loved seeing students get, meeting new friends, making connections with different other programming that have been going on, being an RA. So definitely that's like the biggest thing of us, I mean, getting students to network with each other and get to know everyone else. So. Um, I would obviously have to disagree that it's a resume building opportunity. We are already serving on ASVSU and because of that we've noticed how many things you can accomplish and um, how you can better the lives of every student on this campus and our favorite part of all of this is just the support and the involvement. We really feel it's necessary to be comfortable on this campus um, and we want to advocate on behalf of all students, um, not just the ones that are on ASVSU, not just the ones in Greek life and certain organizations, but it's it's an unselfish reason we're running. We really just want to help everyone find their place here because we have. So. I'd say the beef because you need some substance. There you go, Woo! <laughs> um, as someone who doesn't eat meat, I'm gonna have to say guacamole because that's the only part that tastes good if there's no meat on it. So. Of it. Well, to be honest, in a burrito, I like meat. That's the I would be meat because I like meat and I think it's a really like, it's what makes your burrito good. Okay, no, take it back. If you like me, if you like me, it's like what you want in your burrito. If not, I mean, there's something else that you want in it, but I personally like meat and I think it's what makes a burrito good. That's just my opinion. I don't want to gross everyone out, but I think. Um, <laughs> I think I want to be the oil, you know, because that's the first part that goes and then you mix everything, right? So that's mixing everything and I am a people's person. Like, um, I like I like bringing people, diverse people, or like domestic students and international students together. Um, being the co-host of uh, Coffee and Conversation for a year, that's what I did. Um, I reached out to domestic students and be like, hey, you know, this international event is not just for international students. Um, when we are having Saudi Club National Day or Kuwait Club National Day, it's not just for them, it's for everyone. So I want to be the oil that where everyone comes together and the final product is done. Um, I think the one thing that I think is important is just to be receptive to students' needs um, and to really advocate on behalf of their their interests. Um, Jade and I are doing this together. We're a duo, so uh, the students do have the dual access to the both of us. Uh, but we really, truly just want to be here for the students um, and make those changes on behalf of you. I think the most important role comes to representing all the students. Um, let me clarify this. Representing all students, not just most students. Um, here on Boise State, we tend to neglect those minority or those small clubs on campus but we want to reach out to each and every club on campus and even if there is, they have a small number of members, uh, we, knew, we want to reach out to them. If they are doing an event, we want to encourage them because those are the clubs that are bringing diversity. And yes, every club is bringing diversity, but uh, when Boise State kind of um, advertises itself, we talk about diversity and diversity, but once you come to campus, you don't hear about, like, you don't hear about all the events going on on campus with different cultural clubs. So we want to reach out to all the cultural clubs, and with equity, we want to help them improve. We want to help them encourage and uh, do their best to be represented. And um, once again, we want to help um, by representing all the students, not most of the students.